A new natural gas pipeline soon will be delivering clean burning natural gas to New York and New Jersey. The pipeline will join a network that includes thousands of miles of other natural gas pipelines in the region, all of which deliver clean and affordable supplies of domestic natural gas to thousands of homes and businesses. But opponents, desperate to block this latest pipeline, are now trying to scare the public with outrageous and unsupported claims. They've even gone so far as saying that the natural gas transported by the new pipeline will contain high levels of radon and even cause cancer. Pretty wild stuff, right? So why would anyone take them seriously? It's because they cleverly mix their spin on the information with a seriously flawed report, which was authored by Marvin Reznikov in January of 2012. The report claimed there were high levels of radon in the region's natural gas supplies, posing a threat to human health. But what do the actual radon measurements really tell us? And what do the experts themselves have to say? Let's start with the Federal U.S. Geological Survey. Last year, USGS said Reznikov's study was based on limited data and relied on theoretical calculations. So theoretical, in fact, that Reznikov even admitted in his paper that tests would need to be conducted by independent experts and agencies to determine if his theory was accurate. That's where Dr. Lynn Anspaugh comes in. Dr. Anspaugh is a renowned expert in radiation and health at the University of Utah. He recently issued a report which examined radon in actual, real-world natural gas samples from the Marcellus Shale. The report concluded, The sample analyses clearly show that the radon levels in the natural gas are low and will cause no significant health risk. Further, the sample results directly and factually contradict Reznikov's speculative claims. New York regulators also found that radon levels in Marcellus gas are essentially equal to background values, or what's already naturally occurring, and that the radon levels do not indicate an exposure concern for workers or the general public. In addition, the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the U.S. Department of Energy, and the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission have all concluded that radon in natural gas does not pose elevated health or safety risks. Groups opposed to natural gas development are trying to incite fear in the public with over-the-top claims about radon and harm to human health. The reality? Those claims are simply not true. For more information on this and other issues, please visit us at energyindepth.org.